Okay, it took more than a week um, for these fingers to uh, to do their thing, the acid to break down the gold from the um, copper, but uh, there's still a lot still attached to the copper on the fingers, but a lot of the gold separated. So I'll give it a go anyway and see if I can get anything from it. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. It's quite a bit of the gold has actually released from the copper um, off the fingers. So we'll go with that, and I'll um, I'll come back when I've uh, got all the gold sorted out. Okay, here's our gold concentrates all in there in the tissue and next I'll be putting them in the crucible with some flux and um, melt it all down and see what happens. Okay. Here's a little um, ball of of gold, gold that we got off the um, off the circuit boards from the computer, and uh, it's all in there, all in this little tissue paper. I'm going to drop that into the bottom of the crucible, and I'm just going to add some borax. I'm not even going to measure it, just whack it in there and and also some sodium carb get a little, little bit of a light mix up bit more borax for good measure. The more borax you put in the more liquefied it becomes which is what we want. Okay I'll put that in the in the um, oven and we'll melt it down and then I'll pour it into a cone mold and uh, we should get a gold button.
hopefully it'll melt the gold down and we'll get a bead. Okay, the, the pour went well. That's all the slag on the top you can see. So um, we'll just wait for that to cool down. Then I'll knock it out and see what we got. Okay, let's see if we got anything. Ooh, I think I might have something in the bottom. There's all the slag. And there's still something in the bottom. There. Okay, there it is. A little bead of gold. I'll, um, it's a bit dirty. I'll put it on the scales and, uh, and weigh it up to what it weighs. Looks like it might be about half a gram. <laughs>